So my first tip is for the moms who still have younger kids at home. When I started my company, my kids were about six and 11, and I clearly defined for them what work meant. Mommy working meant that the ability to buy food, put a roof over our head, go to Disney World, buy clothes, have, participate in soccer, that they had a clear definition of what work meant for us and our household. My second tip would be to clearly define a workspace. If you don't have an office, but you can find somewhere in the home that is quiet and you are able to be productive, and this clearly defines it for other family members as well, that when you're in this space, it's work time and it's, it's not social time. I personally feel that when I'm in my workspace, it is so much different than if I am working out um, where the kids and, and the rest of the family are. So my third tip is get up and get ready. When I very first started working from home, I would get dressed as if I had meetings all day. Um, obviously that's not the case in this new situation that we find ourselves in, but getting up and getting ready and getting out of the clothes that we slept in it makes a huge difference. We all know taking that shower makes a difference. Um, I dress today, right, in a loose linen button down, but I have shorts on. But I got up and got ready. Maybe not the same ready as I would have um, two weeks ago, but definitely still um, preparing myself for work. So tip four would be create to-do lists. I feel like it's even more important when you're working out of the home to be able to differentiate those chores. This is probably the shortest my to-do list has ever been, but I write down what needs to be done in the office and work, and if I have a side thought of something that needs to happen in the home, I jot that down as well and take care of it at a later time. Tip five is time blocking. I still use my planner even though meetings aren't happening now and I use it to track my time throughout the day. I block time for work and for breaks um, because when jumping from trying to run a household and work in your office, it doesn't work. Um, I'll never forget years ago when Ethan was little and I was working on a bid or a quote in my office and I hear him hop from the kitchen, mom, mom, the stove's not supposed to do this. And by the time I get in there, the water is boiling over and Ethan is looking like a deer in headlights. I was so lucky he didn't touch the stove and it was such a, a great reminder that when I'm working, I need to be working. And when I'm cooking dinner, it is time to be cooking at dinner for my family. So for me, time blocking both breaks, work, and household chores Tip six is stay off social media. When you're working, work. Use social media for those time breaks. Tip seven is to create a routine. Whether you stay up late and get up late or go to bed early and get up early, create a routine that you stick to each day and start working at the same day. Tip eight is to find your productive time of day. For me, it's that early morning before anyone else is awake and I'm sipping coffee. I plow through stuff then. Tip nine is listen to music. I like to play mine two rooms away so I can just feel the vibe and the good mood that it sets. Tip 10 is create a vision board. What does all of this look like for you now working from home? and the balance between family and work. For me, creating a new vision board is where is my company gonna go after all of this? Where do I see my connections? And really just changing my strategy and my approach to business going forward in these new times.